Windows 10 logo key keyboard shortcuts. Practice makes perfect. Please enable to practice every single shortcut we go through, especially those that are new to you. The shortcuts page link, shortcuts, timestamps, and the list of materials used in creating this video are in the description. Hello, I'm Favor. We'll be going through Windows logo key keyboard shortcuts. If you have any questions, suggestions, or whatever, comments, pressing Windows logo key will start menu. You can then enter your set query. Pressing Windows logo key and A will open action center. Pressing Windows logo key and B will set focus in the notification area. You can then use your arrow key to get to your target icon. You can use the application key to get more options. By pressing M, I'll be opening volume mixer. Pressing Windows logo key and B will display or hide the desktop. This shortcut acts as a toggle. Pressing Windows logo key and E we open File Explorer. Depending on Windows configuration, this PC or Quick Access will open. By default, Quick Access opens up. We have this PC opening. To open Quick Access, let us change its preference in Folder Options dialog box. You can make ribbon visible using Ctrl F1. By default, the ribbon is visible. Pressing this logo key and H will open share prompts. Pressing escape will exit share prompts. Pressing this logo key and L lock your PC or switch accounts. If you use PIN or password, you will need it to get back into your account. Pressing Windows logo key and N, switch to desktop and minimize all open windows. Pressing Windows logo key and Shift M will restore the minimized windows. Pressing Windows logo key and P enable you to use an external monitor if you have one connected to your system. Pressing Windows logo key and R will open the run dialog box. Pressing Windows logo key and S open container. Pressing Windows logo key and T cycle through the apps on the tax bar. Pressing Windows logo key and U open ease of access center. Pressing Windows logo key and X open the quick link menu. There are a lot of options here, including shutdown and sign out options. Let us open command from as an administrator by pressing A on the keyboard. Pressing Windows logo key and pause display the system properties. Pressing Windows logo key and control F. Search for PCs if you are on the network. Pressing this logo key and number open the app in the position indicated by the number. With all this app open on the tags bar, we'll be opening each of them starting from the app on the first position to the app on the tenth position. If the app is in focus and has just one instance open, it will be minimized. We will go from up on the third position to up on the first position. How about when the app has more than one instance? Let us open some instances of File Explorer. File Explorer is at the fifth position, so Windows logo key and file will circle through instances of File Explorer. So when you have many instances of an app, pressing Windows logo key and number cycle through instances of that app. Press Windows logo key and shift and number open the new instances of the app in the position indicated by the number. Do not all app allow multiple instances. Holding down Windows logo key and shift and pressing 4 multiple times open instances of both power. But control panel in the third position will not allow 
multiple instances. For an app having multiple instances of points, press Windows logo key and control number, open the last active window of the app indicated by the number. This same shortcut also cycles through instances of an app. For an app having multiple instances open, let us see an example from File Explorer app. Press Windows logo key and alternate a number, open the jump list for the app in the position indicated by the number. Press on this logo key and control and shift the number, open a new instance of the app at the given position as an administrator. We will use command prompt app as an example. Press on this logo key and tab, open tax view. Pressing Windows logo key and up arrow maximize the window. Pressing Windows logo key and down arrow restores the window. Pressing Windows logo key and down arrow minimize the window. Pressing Windows logo key and spacebar switch input language and keyboard layout. By pressing Windows logo key and control and spacebar change to a previously selected input. Continually pressing Windows logo key and control and spacebar just toggles between the present language and the previous one. Press on this logo key and plus open magnifier and increases magnification. Press on this logo key and minus reduces the magnification. Press on this logo key and escape we exit the magnifier. Press on this logo key and enter. Turn on narrator. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I love you.